save that energy, Baudry. It's 90 hard miles to Borrego. Hey, look, Morgan, why don't you give me a break? Like the one you gave me? In two places? Well, you can't blame me for trying to get away. Do you think I want to hang? Should have thought of that before you killed the stage driver and the guard. Look, I know I'm not exactly a Sunday school farm boy. <laughs> Maybe sometimes I cheated cards, but robbery and murder, it's not in me. No need wasting your pleas on me. I can't help you. You know something? I just looked at my fortune in those cards. You know what they told me? That you'd never get me to Borrego. I'll get you there. With your gun arm in a sling? I'm warning you, Morgan, I'm not gonna hang for something I didn't do. You better deal yourself another fortune with those cards. I got a feeling they lied. <laughs> From out of the West, Dick Powell's Zane Gray Theater. Tonight star, Cesar Romero. Two broken tables, glasses, bottles of whiskey, about $20 worth. Mr. Taylor, I'm Sheriff Morgan. Well, howdy, Sheriff. I'd like to have a word with you. Business or pleasure? Business. You mind coming over to the jail? Now, as long as it's only sightseeing. Oh, now, wait a minute. What about this damage him and Moose did? You got any money? I know he ain't. Well, I got just 10 silver coins between me and starvation. Here's Mr. Taylor, Sheriff. Moose, I guess you'll have to work it off. Oh, no, Sheriff. Not shoveling fertilizer again. Come in, Mr. Taylor. Yeah, let me get my hat. Sheriff. Hmm? What about Baudry? I told you before, Sam. I told all of you. He goes to Borrego for trial. Fertilizer. And me with a delicate stomach. Delicate? Why, you big moose. Thank you. 
Sure don't look like no killer to me, sir. He was identified with Mrs. Chapman, the minister's wife. A half-blind 70-year-old woman who admitted having her head under a shawl the whole time. That evidence sounds a little papery to me. Jury will decide that. What do you say, Taylor? Are you taking the Borrego for trial? Who am I, sir, if you don't know me from a barn door? When you were in the saloon, I went through your saddlebags. Oh, that's nice. Found General Custer's letter, recommendation. Said you were the best scout he ever had. Well, you know how he ended up. <laughs> well? I don't know, Sheriff. It's a little out of my line. Your sign said anybody to anywhere. Well, how far is Borrego? 90 miles. Let's see. $45? That's right. In advance. Mr. Taylor? Yes, ma'am. I want to hire you. Sorry, miss. He's already hired. That's right. Besides, traveling with me is about the worst possible way there is. Oh, but I've got to get to Borrego. I'm going to lose a job waiting for me there if I don't get there by Saturday. Well, a stagecoach will suit your comfort better, ma'am. There isn't one leaving until next week. Isn't there something I can do to make you change your mind? Well, that perfume will do for a starter. Miss, uh... Aldridge. Jenny Aldridge. Well, I'm sorry, Miss Jenny. Sure would have been a pleasure. Oh. If there should be a change of plans, we well, can find me at the hotel. Are you sure I have to take him in the morning? I'm positive. People in this town knew the men killed in that holdup. They're getting jumpy with Bosby around. Now, here's your $45. You'll be here in the morning by 4 a.m. to pick him up before the town knows what's going on. I'll be here. And Taylor. Don't turn your back on him. Sheriff, when I was nine years old, I came home one morning and found my pal murdered, killed by a man he trusted like blood kin. Since then, I don't turn my back on anybody. Howdy, Moose. What's the matter with you? Fertilizer. Makes the fourth time in a month. Ain't but only so much a man can take. Is that the only job you can do? Heck no. I can cook, I'm a dead shot with a rotator. I can pack a horse so he rides easy. I can start a fight or end one. Is that useful to you? You looking to work for me, Moose? No, sir. I don't work for no man. Wouldn't mind being a partner, though. Well, I'd cut it down to two bits a mile apiece. Of course, the road would only be half as lonely. The sheriff hired me to take a man to Borrego. He's accused of murdering two people. Might be dangerous, you still want to go along? As a partner? Well, you talk me into it. <laughs> Come on, I'll buy you cream soda, man. <laughs> Nice town. Yeah. Old Bodry must be bored stiff. Better take off these gun belts. Why? We want people to think we look like decent citizens, don't we? All right, he's all yours. You're making a mistake, Sheriff. If I am, it won't be the first time. If they do hang me, you'll all feel the rope for the rest of your lives and your conscience. We're just taking you there. We're not hanging you. <laughs> you, Sam, this man gets a trial. He's gone to. Right here. is charged with killing two men we all like. Robbing and holding up... That is not true. I was nowhere near that stage. We have heard enough of your bellyaching excuses, Baudry. Look, I know I spoiled your night's sleep. And you'll all hate me just for that alone. Getting up this early, you won't settle for anything less than a hanging. 
If I wasn't found guilty, it'd spoil your breakfast. Are you finished, Baudry? I was finished before I came in here, so go ahead and hang me. There's so many of you, you'll spread the guilt out thin, hoping you won't feel it. We are only doing our duty. Your duty. See? Look, I haven't been in this town long, but those of you who've met me know that I'm not a killer. We know what you are. You fleeced every man in my place with your fast cards. Does that make me a killer? Is that why you're doing this to me, because I took a little money away from you at cards? You men in the jury want to talk it over before you bring in a verdict of guilty? No. All right, the trial's over. There's nothing to do but hang him. Hold on a minute. Who's going to do the actual hanging? What's that to you? Nothing. Except me and my partner here will hang him for you. What? Why are you offering, mister? Well, we feel we owe you something. Besides, you saved us a long, dusty track to Borrego. We got paid $45 in advance. Hanging a man is no easy matter. First, you got to make a noose, the right kind with a big knot in it. Then you shove the knot up against a man's ear so that it pushes his head sideways when it snaps his neck. Kind of like a gun stock being smashed up against the side of a rock. Well, now, court's adjourned. <laughs> <laughs> Easy down. I want every gun put in that whiskey barrel. This gun will handle all of you. Open it up, Bruce. Amen. Excuse me, Sam. <laughs> you first, old man. I guess Custer was right about you, Branch. A man ends up. My folks used to be so proud of me when I was a kid. When my father died, I didn't know which way to turn. My hands were trained to play the piano, but they dealt cards better. Money came faster and easier. <laughs> What's so funny? Kind of hard to deal cards now. Or play the piano. <laughs> well, we, uh, we got a long day ahead of us. Better turn in. Probably trying to calm those horses. Good evening, Miss Jenny. What are you doing here? I told you I needed you to take me to Borrego. Well, you don't hire a guide by sneaking into camp with a gun. No, you don't. The truth is, Baudry killed my brother and Newman in a card game last year. He said it was self-defense. Well, I know it wasn't. Now, I want to be in Borrego to see him hang. 
All right, Miss Jenny. I'll take you to Brago. Over right there. But you fellas had forgotten all about me. And let you hang? No, sir. Not with that stagecoach money laying around loose. What'd you do with it, Tom? I'll tell you later. Go get the other one. I saw you in the saloon. What took you so long? What are you doing? Well, it won't kill you, Tom. It'll just burn good and deep. Now, what'd you do with that money? Well, I asked you a question, Tom. Did you ever see a burn scar on a man? Oh, but well, it ain't pretty. Forget it, Bert. I'll die rich and you'll grow old still looking. I was trying to hit him. Well, that's real handy of you. Now I've got a lump on my head the size of a goose egg. Who are your friends, Baudry? They were in the saloon tonight with Sam and the others. The partner saw them. They were going to kill me. Well, that's true enough. When I come to, he was holding a gun on him. Well, tie him up. I'd rather have him with us and follow us. All I got to say is shoveling fertilizer is one heck of a lot easier than this. Where'd you find her? It's another one of your admirers, Baudry. She claimed you killed her brother. <laughs> I'd have to be a hundred years old to have done everything I'm accused of. Mr. Beaudry, I'm going to stand there and I'm going to watch them hang you. And then I'm going to take a piece of the rope and save it for a souvenir. Huh. Well, now, that's what I call a real sweet girl. I got an itch in my brain. Well, go on, scratch it. Our friend, Miss Jenny, if all she wanted to do was get to Borrego to see Baudry hang the stage, would have got her there in plenty of time. And why do you suppose she's tagging along behind us? Well, it's a sin she ain't hanging on my trail. Maybe it's you she likes, partner. Oh, Baudry, keep an eye on him. I'm gonna try something. payment for my services. I charge by the mile in advance. Well, was that, that your 90 mile fee? 45 of it, just half. Don't you want to collect the rest? Taylor, a little crude, but not bad. <laughs> All right, boys, on your feet. Just a minute. Stay right where you are, Taylor, or he's dead. Get over there. The keys, Jenny, in his vest pocket. You love a man, you work real hard for him, don't you, Jenny? He's worth it. Is he? We'll get out of this part of the country, darling. We'll go to California. Or Oregon, maybe. They say it's beautiful in Oregon. Get us a small cabin. With chintz curtains, maybe? A little old rocking chair on the front porch? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Jenny, that's not for me. But what about all the things you said in Carson City about wanting to get started again and... I start over again at least once a month. New town, new women. Keeps the blood young, Jenny. Habit makes a man old before his time. But I don't regret the time I spent with you. You don't regret? Look, I've heard enough bleeding hearts. Hey, Bo, they cut me loose. Let's go get that money. <laughs> well, now, Bert, if I remember correctly, you were gonna kill me. <laughs> You're next, Taylor. Oh, no, Tom. No! <laughs> It'll be a short trial, Beaudry. This time we got lots of witnesses. You all right? Oh, shucks, I've been cactus scratch worse than that. What about him? He's dead. Put him on a horse. All right, on your feet. Learning can be hard, Jenny, but it's part of living. When you stop, you die a little every day. Come on, get settled up. You know something? I'm beginning to think this here guy business ain't worth it. What are you talking about? We made $45, didn't we? Yeah, less than 10 we spent for supplies. Less than another 20 you give to Sam for that barrel of whiskey, which we didn't get a taste of. Well, that leaves us 15. Of course, she'll need stage fare back to Carson City. She what? We can't leave in Borrego, not now. How much is nothing divided by two? Nothing. Moose, you know something? Now what? We probably would have squandered away on cream soda anyway. 